We have also gotten a lot of questions about laptops and iPads for students, you know, since everybody's out at home earlier this month, a plea by Governor Little, several nonprofits asking people to donate new or used electronic devices for Idaho students. And at one point, it was estimated that about 200,000 Idaho students would need a device in order to go back to school, which prompted Stanley to email us with this question. Can you tell us where Idaho lottery profit is going, if not able to buy kids computers? We have gotten a lot of similar questions about the lottery in the last few weeks, especially when we've seen budget cuts at school districts and, of course, all this money spent on buying laptops. I mean, you see and sometimes hear it at the end of every Idaho lottery commercial as well. Benefiting Idaho public schools, right? Well, we actually talked about this on the 208 back in February, but it seems like there's a lot of misunderstanding surrounding where that money actually goes that we wanted to touch on it again. So here we go. For the last 30 years, about 24 cents of every dollar in lottery ticket sales goes into an account for education. That's 24 cents for every dollar. And by state law, every year on July 1st, that money is split into three public funds. The Department of Education's Public School Building Fund, that's one account, the Bond Levy Equalization Fund, which helps pay off interest on school bonds, and the Department of Administration's Permanent Building Fund. Basically, if the state wants to build or repair a building, they pull from this fund. Out of that 24 cents for every dollar, the Department of Education gets 62.5% or 15 cents. The Permanent Building Fund gets the rest, 37.5% or 9 cents of that 24. And that money goes towards state operated facilities like schools, Idaho's colleges and universities. And during the last fiscal year, the lottery returned $55.5 million back to Idaho schools. And that sounds like a lot, right? In reality, just kind of a drop in the bucket. The state's education yearly budget sits at just under $2 billion with a B. So where was that Idaho lottery money deposited on July 1st of this year? Where did it go? We'll take a look at the screen. About 35 million went to the Department of Education and about 21 million went to the Permanent Building Fund. And if we break that down even further, of that 35 million, just under 21 million went to the school district building account and just under 14 million to the bond levy equalization fund. So yeah, that's quite the breakdown there. Lottery's website shows exactly where each district spent its money. If you're curious about finding out more about that and just a quick scroll through the 2018 data shows most of that money was spent on or by the districts on things like building needs, things like pipes, flooring, roofs, etc something students, teachers and staff will hopefully be able to enjoy sometime soon when it's safe to do so.